Good morning, folks. It's Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I gotta be kind of quiet because I'm out here on the golf course pond really early and I got neighbors right behind me. So uh, it's top water time. I gotta get a top water fish while I'm here, right? So there's the uh, Booyah Toad Runner. That's the uh, Whopper Plopper Hollow -bodied, Bodied Frog Routine. And guys, I'm desperate and dying to get a snakehead out of here. I've seen them, I know they're in here. It's just a matter of time, but let's uh, put in some time and see if we can get one. I'll be just fine and dandy with any topwater fish, but if we can get a snakehead to come up, that'd be pretty cool. So what I know is that these snakeheads are way up shallow, way up right at my feet. I mean, they're so close to the, to the shoreline. They're up in this muck and this mess. That toad runner, I'm working the shorelines with that, trying to get that topwater bite from a snakehead or a bass that comes out of the weeds. But when I'm done in the area and I've pretty much fished everything I can fish, before I move on, I'm gonna break out a little uh, X-Wrap pop. This is a Rapala, old school, just a real natural shad pattern deal. So I'm gonna throw that out into the open water. I'm gonna see if I can get some of the fish that I see popping out there to come up, most likely a bass. And now that I know there's peacock bass in here, it might be something like that. So I'm just gonna a little popping out there. It's a nice calm morning. Let's see if we can get something to at least come up and get my first topwater fish in Florida. And first topwater fish of the year for me. There we go, first cast, nice one. <laughs> I gotta keep quiet guys, that was a nice pop. I'm so glad I brought the popper out here. On a spinning rod too, by the way. Let me get that thing out. That's exactly what I wanna do. First topwater fish of 2019 right there on a Rapala X pop. Just a classic popper, guys. Can't beat that, I gotta get the pliers out, hang tight. All right, there it is. Got the popper out, guys. First one of the day, that's absolutely awesome. That was my first cast with a popper after putting away the, uh, putting away the Toad runner for a minute just to cover some open water. I might throw that a few more times, get him back. He's bleeding a little bit. He's okay. Just got a little bit of a little love, a little bit deep. All right, let's get going. So I'm throwing this X pop on a spinning rod. The same exact rod you guys have seen tons and tons of times. It's got to be one of the most versatile things you can do. He's got a seven foot medium action spinning rod and I got 12 pound test braid and it's straight to the braid. I don't have any kind of leader. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes I'll put a mono leader since it floats but this braid floats i've got a direct connection to the bait i can cast it forever so when you're talking a little popper and you're talking a pond and you want to get as much casting distance check that out look how far out i got that bait if you see anything popping out there and you want to get to it this is the only way you're going to do it it's a shimano stratic ci4 really smooth drag on this deal and yeah just 12 pound it's sx1 braid specifically 12 pound test and man it launches this little popper out there Plenty of backbone to fight a good fish. Not a lot of cover out here. Not crazy weeds or pads. So if I get one running on me, I should be able to get it in just fine. From the looks of things, this is the biggest pond in the community. So it's been a while since I've fished at this exact spot, probably about a year and a few months. And didn't spend much time here at all. Caught a bunch of good ones. And again, it was more like the uh, winter time when I was out here fishing right around the holidays. So coming back out here in the springtime is very interesting. I've got this, uh, I got this frog working, but nothing happened on the shoreline on that strip. So I'm just throwing it out into open water a couple times. It works just like a whopper plopper. It's like a little super subtle buzz bait out there. So I'm gonna just throw it out on top, throw it out in the middle here for a minute, and then I'm gonna go to the popper and then keep on rolling. Here comes the sun. That's my nemesis when it comes to top water fishing. I could probably catch them all day long out here, uh, but it'd be few and far between if I did. So as soon as the sun gets really high, I'm gonna change gears. I'm gonna get some moving baits out here. This water is starting to ripple. The wind's starting to blow. I had an epic uh, lipless crankbait bite just yesterday, last evening, afternoon that is. And so if I get that going again, that's great. And uh, maybe some spinner baits. I might play with some soft plastics, but if the wind blows, I'm going power fishing out here in these ponds. These fish are eating and it is absolutely incredible out here when the wind blows. All right, so I'm glad I got some of this shoreline taken care of before that sun came up. Around the bend and behind that building, there's gonna be a lot more shade for a lot longer. So I wanted to hit this before the sun hit it hard. I'm gonna go over that side where there's actually a more narrow canal. And I've seemed to get a lot of action uh, in those narrow, narrow canals when it comes to some of the top water activity. I, I fished a couple times, guys. I fished out here a couple times in the morning to try and get a top water bite and nothing until this morning. So let's go around the bend and see if we can find another one. Dude, what are you doing? Folks, we've got this little, this little raccoon hanging out 
right inside the screen of this uh, of this residence unit here they've got their storm shutters up but with the screen there he's got a little hole right there he's climbed in he's just chilling he looks so he looks so somber dude are you just taking a nap or what don't worry i'm not going to hurt you but that's crazy guys there's wildlife all over florida you never know what you're going to see and now i'm looking at a little raccoon in the early in the morning hanging out just inside the screen of this uh this residence spot absolutely ridiculous oh, i'll leave you alone buddy you go do your thing I'm trying to get my angle right. <laughs> oh, there comes the sun. I'm trying to get around to this other side here, and he, that sun really broke out quick. There it is. Clouds were in and out for a minute, but I got the harsh sun now. I'm almost right around the bend where the shade's going to be. I thought I'd take one or two more casts right here at the bend to see if anything happens. And then I'll get around to that shade. Snakeheads will hit in the sunshine. I know that, guys. But I just wanted to come out here and not only have a chance at a snakehead, but take a chance and get myself a, a couple of bass on top in general. So, there we go guys it came at it it waked i don't know what it was but it hit it hard and i lost it oh my god got all that muck on there boy he i saw him coming too and i gave it to him i let him eat it but once he got in all this muck right here he got off bummer what's so great about this whole situation is that i am so close to where i parked i could beat up some shoreline on some incredible water and i uh, go right back to the vehicle and change out pretty much the rods I need and get some tackle for the next round of fishing which is going to be probably some lipless cranks and maybe some spinner baits. I'm going to get out here and throw some moving baits. The wind is hustling. It's coming right at me. Everything's blowing to this side of the lake. Uh, I mean I'm going to call this a lake. <laughs> this is a real real big golf course pond. It's huge and tons of shoreline to fish. You know on that side it's all golfers. On this side it's all me. So I've got this place to myself at this point few more rounds with this topwater routine they're gonna make that change up so I'm just again happy I got that first topwater fish oh my gosh right there guys in the bright sun absolutely awesome I threw right into the sun and like I said topwater sometimes will happen even when the bright sunshine it sure did on a nice bass there's bass number two on the popper switched it up man i gotta be careful these bass are pretty heavy these bass are pretty chunky and with that really light braid i'm gonna get myself cut so let me get him out I had my uh pliers right there on my hip locked and loaded ready to go so there we go guys number two top water bass i'm not done i'm gonna go around the bend like i said but i'm glad i got one more right here right in the bright sunshine all right I told you there's some shade over here the sun's still right there in my face but all back here i've got a little shade to work with in this little canal so let me throw just at least once or twice into the sun cover this little narrow spot right here as it bends make sure there's no lurking snake heads or hungry bass ready to eat this little toad runner and i'm going to throw behind me all down in that shade line see what happens Tough bite on the toad runner there I got one hit on it this morning that's about it I've only been out here about 20 minutes so uh, maybe a little more than that maybe about half an hour so let me go ahead and do it again here it comes here comes the popper all right I'm gonna hit one more spot the wind is howling it is really howling so as I go down this strip there's a little area where the wind uh, it's, it's protected from the wind a little bit a little more calm so I'm gonna go ahead and go over there that's gonna be my last spot after that we're going to shut this uh, video down. This is going to be my top water morning video on the golf course ponds. And again, I'm going to switch gears, go on and set up a new video playing this wind, spinner baits, lipless cranks. Who knows what's going to happen? The wind is awesome when it comes to power fishing. So let's head on down the strip, try and get one more top water fish, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I got a bite, guys. I got something coming up to eat it. I don't think he felt it very much, so let's see if he'll come back and get it. On the toad runner, that'd be awesome. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'll bet you that was a snakehead. That's tough, that's tough right now, because here's the deal. I could probably throw it as a topwater frog, but that's my first experience with the toad runner. 
and they give you a spare tail, which makes a lot of sense, because you're gonna have this happen, I'm sure, but that piece of metal is what used to hold the plopper. So I have basically no plopper on there anymore. Let's throw it back out there. Let's throw it back out here just like this. Uh, it's a little split ring, so I'm actually gonna use that split ring and uh, take it off, and then I'll just have a hollow body frog and see if I can get that fish. Very glad I have the tools of the trade here. So I got these split ring pliers. I'm not taking off the split ring because it's connected to this really great little swivel here in the rear end of this uh, toad runner. I just took off that piece that held the, uh, the rubber plopper. So the rubber plopper, again, it's replaceable and they come with, uh, a spare one comes with the actual toad runner. So they, they have anticipation of that happening. So it's a great concept to have an extra. I'd bring them with you. I didn't bring mine with me. So that's why I don't have the plopper. And no doubt it's a rare day that I think a bass would take a tail off that, a snakehead would. So I'm going to go and throw it back out there just like it is. Now it's just a little, uh, a little short legged hollow body frog. And these snakeheads are aggressive. So if he wants it and if he doesn't have a mouthful of uh, plastic plopper, uh, he might want to eat it again. Let's see. Now I'm just plopping like a frog. I'm not pulling it. I'm just popping it. And it's still dancing. It's still a good looking frog without the butt on it. The plopper butt. There we go, guys. I got something on the frog. I don't know what it is, but it feels little. It's a little fish, but I'll take it. Let's see what we got here. I'm surfing a minute because I got a big rot. Guys, I got a snakehead. I got a snakehead. I can't believe it. It's tiny. My first topwater fish, the first topwater fish of 2019. I got it on a popper, two bass, and look at this, guys. A bullseye snakehead. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm a newbie down here. Bullseye snakehead on the frog. I lost it. Wrong concept when it comes to maybe this uh, toad runner because it has that little rubber deal on the back and it gets away. Don't get away, don't get away. He's sliding. <laughs> Oh, he's slippery. Let me get him up here, guys, because I want to hold this fish for a minute, and they're so slippery, and I don't want to lose it. So let me stay up here with my chest real quick while he slithers. He tries to slither back. Here we go. I'm going to just be real gentle. It's probably going to go here in a minute. All right, so here's the deal, guys. I got my snakehead. I'm going to call it. This is a great fish to call it on. A lot of people here want us to kill these fish. I don't know how I feel about that because I don't have anything to kill it with, but here's the deal. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to have some more fun on the golf course ponds. I'm going to throw some power fishing baits spinner bait slipless. I'm going to call this video. So folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me as always. Appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.